Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Now it seems like a long time since I've done an unboxing, probably because it's been a long time since I've bought a, a new fountain pen. I have been buying mostly used fountain pens for quite a while. So a uh, nice change. Um, so as you probably would have known by looking at the, the title of today's video is that I am late to the game and this is actually the Twisby Swipe believe this pen came out maybe a year ago, I'm not quite sure, but it's been out in the market for, for a while. Um, but it's new to me and, and hopefully you'll, you know, new to you as well when you're watching this video. So uh, the box contents gives you a hint in terms of why I picked the Twisby Swipe. Um, it's because it's, it has a spring converter. Now one of my favorite pens, um, at least, or r rather one of my favorite converters out there is actually the Con 70 by Pilot. Uh, it's utterly reliable, a little bit difficult to clean out. Um, so I'm interested to know how this converter performs. And uh, this, this kind of unboxing is, is probably a review uh, or, or my, my impression of what the converter performance is like more than just a pen. Um, I bought the pen in fine, um, and the pen is made in China. So just opening up the cardboard sleeve, you get the a little book-like box made of plastic. And inside you get the pen. We'll take a look at the pen later on. Uh, but what does Twisby provide with the pen is actually this plastic uh, little sleeve down here that has a cartridge and it's kind of an interesting design for a cartridge I'm not quite sure it's probably this is the point where you would puncture this hole to get the ink to start flowing um, and they give you a spring which I'm not quite sure what that is for um, and I think I know why because uh, that spring is for use with the cartridge where you will actually put um, like this and it says that the spring adds extra security for engagement of the cartridge. Uh, I would kind of uh, be worried with that approach because it might mean that the, the connection between that little uh, the feed um, and the cartridge is not very secure but will take a look at that later on. So no other instructions, uh, which is fine. I'm not going to use the cartridge, so I'm going to put it back into the box. And just looking at the pen, um, I bought the pen in the smoke gray finish. Um, and it comes in a little sleeve. And on first, my first impression is the plastics which they use um, is fairly thin. It's probably not Twisby Gold thin, um, but it, it is pretty thin and brittle feeling. Uh, looking at the cap, you get the Twisby logo. It's in plastic as well. Uh, you have these little cutouts down here where I'm not sure whether you can slide out the, the clip you might be able to. Clip wise, it's just a piece of it's a very secure piece of metal, which, you know, they, they just shove it in here and maybe I can just show you how it looked like. It is very secure. Um, however, it does jut out like that much if you're, if you're putting it into your, um, your shirt pocket and something like that. You can actually see a sleeve in there to help the, the ink from drying out. And then looking at the, the actual pen, um, I don't really have the dimensions handy, but I mean, I'll just measure the pen on the spot. And lengthwise, it's about 12.6 or 12.7 uh, centimeters unposted. And kind of in the middle of the section, it's about one centimeter or 10 millimeters. So it's not the biggest pen when it's uh, when it's unposted, 
but I think it should be fine. The pen probably does post and I think the posting um, kind of makes it a nice length even though I don't really post my pens. Uh, looking at the barrel, it has that uh, eco reminiscent type design with, uh, I believe the eco actually has six sides if I'm not wrong. Take a look at that later. This, one, this has five um, facets and it, it does feel relatively light and relatively uh, cheap filling plastic that they use. Um, so looking at the inside of the pen, which is probably the reason why, like I mentioned, the reason why I bought this pen is, is I was very interested to look at this converter and how well it performed uh, in two ways. One is um, how well it takes in ink uh, when you depress this piston. Um, like, do you need to do like multiple times and still not be able to fill up the the converter is what I wanted to check out. Uh, we'll put it back. And the place where the converter kind of connects to the feet is actually this little hole down here. Uh, it's relatively secure and I hope it, it won't leak at that portion. Right? Then looking at the, the section, just going to put the pen back uh, briefly. Looking at the section, it is kind of a comfortable section, uh, pretty comfortable. It's smooth, although um, you can see a very clear injection molding mark down here. You can feel it as well. Um, probably this is where the cutting cost starts coming in. Um, you have a little ridge at the end of the section down here to prevent your, your, your fingers from slipping down to the nib, which is, which is nice. The section feels a little bit narrow or a little bit slim in my opinion. And lastly, you get the nib. Um, I'll compare this later on with the other twist bees I have, but it does look like a pretty small nib unit. It um, looks like a number four or something like that. So I'm going to fill up the pen with some ink to look at the performance of you know, how it can actually take up ink. I'm going to use Noodler's uh, Black today. And um, just this is the first inking, right? And um, it's fairly um, kind of fairly big bottle of ink. So I'll just see how it would actually take up ink with that first press of the converter. So the first press of the converter, nothing happened. Maybe I will have to dip further in. And with two kind of presses of that spring converter, you can see that the converter has actually taken up quite a lot, sorry, quite a lot of ink, right? So as I mentioned early on, this is, this is actually a good sign for this pen that the converter is, is actually a pretty well designed converter. Um, I'm going to cap this pen up and put some, uh, use some tissue to wipe off the nib and I'll come back with my writing impressions. So I'm back with some paper and let's see how this fine nip from um, the swipe performs. So I'm um, just going to do okay this isn't good. I'm not sure where that blob of ink came from. Um, I did wipe down the nib probably is from that channel, that very, very deep channel in the middle of the pen. I've never seen such a deep channel in the feed before.
So in terms of nib performance, it's, it's like a typical twist bead nib. It's not too smooth. Um, it does have a tiny bit of pencil-y feedback. Uh, the ink flow is good, right? Um, it's I'm not sure what this little blob is, but uh, the ink flow is definitely good enough. Um, and yeah, this pretty well performing nib out of the box. In terms of line variation, I wouldn't expect there's much, uh, even though I was pressing pretty hard down there. So it wasn't, it was never meant to be a pen that had good line variation and, and all that. So first impressions is it's a pretty nice performing nib. Just want to show you what uh, the pen looks like next to probably the closest priced uh, cousin within the Twist B line um, is, and that's actually the Twist B Go. And the nibs look fairly similar, even down to the feet design. It looks fairly similar with that big channel down there in the middle. I would even say that the section wise, it's fairly similar to the Twist B Go, right? I'm just curious about the dimensions as well. It's just slightly, just very ever so slightly longer than the Twist B Go. And looking at the Eco, the Eco is definitely longer, right? And the section of the Eco, say it's about the same actually, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, the design of the section is is the same except that uh, there's no kind of differentiation in the ridges down here. The Eco actually has kind of a triangular, semi-triangular ridge at the end of the pen. And I, feet wise, I'm not quite sure whether or not it's the same feet, but <clears throat> it is basically this, it feels like the same wetness as a normal Eco. So I will, kind of uh, use this pen for a while um, before I give some detailed thoughts um, as compared to the other twist B pens I have. Um, so far it's looking good and I'm really enjoying uh, the fact that I can actually have a twist B pen that has a converter. Doesn't It means that I don't have to kind of wait for me to finish up that huge capacity for the usual uh, twist B pens I have that, that have that huge ink reservoir. I can actually just uh, use up the ink within this, this, this space in the converter and then uh, switch out inks. So uh, look forward to that when I come back to do my uh, second look to this pen and, and kind of give you my more detailed thoughts. But it's looking good so far. like the look of this pen and hopefully it will perform so that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful again. Uh, please leave me your questions or any comments and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.